Okay, this is the aquarium we're going to build. It's an old refrigerator. It has two doors, had two doors. And the first thing we're going to do here, because this plastic it has inside is HIPS, which is high impact uh, polystyrene. Polystyrene. And so the first thing we have to do is verify we can stick uh, something on this plastic to be able to seal those holes. Hmm? As we know, polystyrene doesn't accept silicon. It comes off very easily. But as this is a high impact uh, polystyrene, which contain, contains a butadiene polymer and rubber, uh, I have the hope that it'll stick well. Hmm? And so I put a test here. It already has 24 hours sticking there and as we can see it's very nicely fixed there hmm? it, it glues on well it adheres and bonds very well there hmm? so we can uh, consider evidence that if we put a piece of glass over this hole we will be able to stick it there well with silicone and it should last Although it wasn't easy to get it off, but uh, I still don't see any residues of of silicone on the HITS. So we must uh, assume that it doesn't stick on very well. In the long run there might be leaks so we have to be very careful when we seal this part with silicone putting silicone both inside and outside the same with all the other holes we have to fill the holes first with with um, an expansive foam to that level and then that covered with glass and silicone hmm? the silicone doesn't stick on the foam but it will stick on this uh, high impact polystyrene as we have seen so we have that hole that one we have another hole there in the bottom we also have to fill it in with foam and we have another hole here that we only need to put a, a, a piece of glass there now the rest of the plastic is in very good condition with this hole at the top the first thing we're going to do is fill this pole with foam this foam that expands and fills in the space once that foam is hard and solid and make a hole all the way through the foam and through to the other side and there we we'll install this kind of connector a rubber seal there and tighten it tightening it on the other side we should be able to get a good seal there with the other holes we're going to fill the gap with with the, the foam expanding foam make sure it's completely level and once it's hard then we'll cut out a bit of foam on the borders Hmm? and fill that gap, that small little gap, with silicone. And also all around here, lots of silicone. And then we're going to press a piece of glass on there, holding it there in place till the silicone is completely solid. Okay, now that this is dry and hard, we have to cut the foam to get it, leave it level so we can then put the silicone and make a hole, bore a hole there to put the, the things we're going to use to seal these holes.
To stick a piece of glass or stone on these holes, I believe the silicone will, will stick it well for a good length of time and we don't have problems with, with uh, leaks in these parts. That's the biggest hole. The smaller holes, less. I mean, they've got a stone stuck on and should uh, should be okay, I think. Hmm? However, this aquarium, as it's in two parts, I have to connect both parts so that the turtles can occupy the whole space. That means making a hole here so the turtles can go in that way and back. So, hmm? and first of all, I thought using this tube that has 16 centimeters diameter and the small turtle goes through here with no problem but if they grow more then we're going to be in trouble so i'm thinking of instead of doing that i'm going to cut the whole this whole piece this whole square and make a, a frame here of glass or I could use acrylic also, but acrylic doesn't stick well with with uh, silicone, we know that. So it should be glass, or the other option would be uh, tiles, ceramic tiles. To cut all this section completely and seal the inner wall using glass, tiles, or something else, as we can see here, I believe are too many joints to seal and will be very weak. So I don't think this is such a good idea. I think it's a bit risky. Another option I have is this ceramic bowl. I cut off the bottom and 
and it's much bigger than the PVC tube. So it gives us a bigger window between both sections. But we still have the problem of two levels in the plastic, here and here. And that might make the seal a bit more difficult. But I think this is the best thing we can do. We put it right in the center, not too near the sides, and we'll have a good flow of water between both sections. Okay, we are filling it with water to test the fridge if it's capable of holding 200 or 300 liters of water. Hmm? Fill that side and then we'll fill this other side. It will also be useful to test the, the holes we, we covered up. After some days with the, the fridge full of water, the level of water hasn't fallen much. Probably it's all due to the water evaporating and the heat that is here. So I think my ceiling has been okay. And I can't see any humidity on the slab or anywhere else. So I can assume it's just uh, evaporation. Hmm? Just water that has evaporated. This ceramic bowl that I cut the bottom off, just like any ceramic bowl made by hand, isn't perfectly round. It's a bit wider on one side and less wide on the other. Hmm? The same on the back side, it's less wide, and on the top of the bowl, it's wider still. So, I have to be very careful how I position this when I cut it and when I place it inside the hole. That's why I, have, I must mark this position here, and that position must be marked where I'm making the hole so that I Put, put it in in that same position. If I change the position, I'm going to have a bigger hole than what I, what I have as a bowl. So I have to be very careful how I position this and the, how I do the cut. The same, this side will be the wider part of the bowl and the other side will be the less wide part. So I have to mark here both the wide, the wider diameter but also have to mark the smaller diameter. And when I start cutting, I will have to start cutting in the smaller diameter, so that if I make any mistake, I can fix that afterwards, hmm? when I'm opening it up to the wider hole.
wasn't quite on center but uh, I got through and from now from there now I can start cutting towards the end towards the, the perimeter and there in the perimeter I will be able to get the correct angle to cut all the way around to have the same cut here as on the other side There we are, installed, haven't stuck it yet, but there's a small space there and I can fill in with silicone on top of the HIPS and also underneath, so it gets very fixed there. And also underneath. Okay, now we're going to put the silicone on. I'm going to first of all put silicone inside this groove all around. And then I'm going to put silicone on top. So we have silicone on both sides, inside and outside of the plastic. Once we have the silicone all around on this side and on the other side, then I'm going to put the bowl in, in the hole. And once it's in position, then I'm going to put more silicone all around the border. So have a lot of silicone there on the plastic and on the bowl. On this side and on the other side. Well friends, that's it. 
Now we have to wait some, for some days for it to get dry and to get hard and then we can start building our aquarium on a table. Uh, we can fix the filter to it, the pipes, fill it with water and have it going. Watch that in the next videos. If you like this video please remember give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends and thanks for watching. Bye bye.